Batman. And that is a character that is beloved in comic lore and has like a rich but weird history. How much of the backstory did you dive into before playing it? Um, you know, I did my fair bit of research before playing him, but at the same time, you know, this is a young exile too, so I think it's something a little new. Um, yeah, and just researching, just knowing the characters, just really kind of figuring out the kind of vibe of Marvel Rising Secret Wars as a whole yeah. and fitting exile into it kind of a thing. Um, yeah, and I really love the character. I think he's fantastic. Um, who doesn't like playing a bad guy? And uh, yeah, it's just, it was nice playing someone who like, you could tell that there's something, maybe there might be a little bit of good within, but he just wants this, like, his power for hunger is so strong that nothing will get in the way of that, you know. You gotta identify with the bad guy, a little. You have to, right? yeah, if you're, especially if you're playing him, you have to agree with him sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and Marvel does that really well, like, I think all their movies and TV shows, you at least go, like, I guess that makes sense, I feel bad, but it makes exactly. sense. Like, I, I, I grew up watching Saturday morning cartoons and everything like that, and yeah, I always found myself liking the bad guys a lot. I always was, I think, drawn to the bad characters for some reason. Maybe because, uh, you know, obviously the, the good guys have flaws too, but the bad guys have flaws even stronger. And they're just, most of the time they're just kind of like misguided. And that's an interesting, uh, I don't know, that's an interesting, interesting take on a human and where they will go in life. I guess. There's some split and it changes everything. There's always that moment. Something, yeah, something that drives them to do what they're doing. You know? So you've been a part of two generation-defining franchises, and is it interesting to go from one that changed kids slightly younger and growing up with them, and now you're a whole new generation, and Marvel's the biggest movement? Like, what's it like to be a part of those two landmark events? Um, I, I don't know. You know, I just, I'm just very fortunate that I've been able to do the projects that I've been a part of, really. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just very fortunate, honestly. I, I wish I had some incredible answer. It feels amazing. Like, yeah. it, it's so incredible. I'm very... Very lucky, you know, um, that that they would that they want me to do these parts. It just makes me happy, and I just I try and do the best that I can. And you know, it's um, I hope that I can portray him in a way that everyone will be happy with. You know, consistent glory is a good way to live. It's not too shabby. So the Marvel universe has grown since as you've been growing up in this industry, seeing it go from Iron Man ten years ago to now an animated feature in theaters. What's it like as a fan growing into it and being a part of it? Oh, it's everything. For me, it's even. It goes back further than that, just watching cartoons, you know, in the morning. So just watching Spider-Man. I totally watch Spider-Man cartoons in the morning. Like, <laughs> that was my thing, you know? Um, and so being able to, especially, like, being able to do a voice in the cart in the cartoon is something that, you grew up watching cartoons, and I still watch cartoons. So, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that I don't anymore. You know, so to be, you're kind of living out your childhood dream in a way. Um, especially being a super, or a bad guy in a super, you know, <laughs> and, you know, it's even better, you know? Yeah, um, I mean, I say Spider-Man, X-Men, and Batman are the three. Like, all of all cartoons, those are the staples. I would say so, yeah. I, I, I watched Batman. Um, I watched him, I can't think, I'm trying to think. Trying to think of the exact time that I watched Batman. It was when he was in the very slim suit with the red Batman. Uh, Batman Beyond. Yeah, yeah, it was very slimming. Like, that's when I was watching Batman. Um, but I watched Spider-Man a lot. And, uh, yeah, it was cool. I got to do a voice on... I got to... I think it just aired. I just saw something for it back in August. I got to play the jack-o'-lantern on Spider-Man, which was really fun, too. Dude, two, multiple childhood dreams. Yeah, and another <laughs> bad person, too. I don't know why I keep playing all these bad people. I'm a nice person. <laughs> well, last question for you. What would your character's favorite Marvel property be? Like, not you, but what do you think Exile would like in the Marvel Universe? Like, what movie, what experience, what TV show? It's a tricky one. Oh, <laughs> that's a really hard one. Oh, my goodness. Um, oh, I, I, you know, I, I'm really trying to think here. I, you know, I, I want to say the world... He would like the world of maybe like a Suicide Squad or something, because um, you know it's it's dark and it's grimy, and uh, I think that would kind of be his his place to be. So his comic property is that wild, wacky, awesome soundtrack, really edited, gritty. Yeah, maybe not exactly the tone of it, but just the world of being in a place where there's a lot of baddies and yeah. there's a lot. You know what I mean? I feel like you would like that. Camaraderie. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you, dude.